Is he coming? Great start. Great start. They'll never find me under the table. Damn it. He just dropped his AK. Maybe I should just restart. <laughs> I can work with this. Nothing a little d d dodge rolling couldn't help. I mean, can't fix. You see no one. All oh, right. I forget. Are you kidding me? You are kidding me. Now you work? How did you lose sight of a snake? And now it's kind of daytime. Wanted to see what those, um... Seen. HQ. This is HQ. Patrol here. We've lost sight of the enemy. Immense alert formation. Acknowledged. The enemy is still nearby. Pursue and engage him. right there. Come on. Ah, you're right there! <laughs> what the hell? Everybody's hungry. Ooh. Come on. Oh. Well, I'm out of magazines. No, no. Who's that? Oh, come on. Screw it. No, no, you don't. You don't cite me. I'm just a snake in the grease. Dog don't see me either. Bad start. Bad start. Say la vie.
Don't let anyone tell you serpentine doesn't work. Brazilian wandering spider. Soon the most exquisite pain will engulf your entire body. Your limbs will be paralyzed. Your lungs cease to draw breath. Eventually your heart will stop beating. But you'll get an erection so hard. That's the thing he doesn't tell you. shot with a poison bolt the poison is spreading throughout your body your life is going to keep decreasing unless you do something about it hurry and neutralize the poison go into the survival viewer and yeah 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 obviously thank you paramedic can i just leave that in there uh all right let's just Let's just take that out. Nah, we'll let it heal. Oh, that's not good. I gotta find ammo. Oh, 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 you're kidding me. What does he say? I hit him. All oh, right, you shot me. <laughs> yeah, let's get that out. Wait, am I poison again? No. looks at you okay so uh yeah that's that's the only thing i have only trivia i have about this guy he doesn't point this out but his um his poison gives you an erection but he doesn't tell you that let's get him to come over here again <laughs> there he is Thank you, Snake. Oh, oh. Okay. Good shot.
right in their head. Maybe eating some food would help me. Uh, I didn't think they went off. No, don't eat it. It's rotten. Yeah, no, no sh That's what I get for, um, not playing this for so long. I gotta pay attention. Let's see if you can see me. Ooh. Yep, okay, you can see me. Now we're talking. Did you see me? I fortunately no. Where were you? You were there! <clears throat> I know where you are too. Oh! Right through the heel! Actually no, right through the bone. Ugh. You. Oh, no, you don't. Yeah, if you if you um, get him low enough, he starts eating the fauna around here. Oh, God. I gotta eat all the food before he eats it. No, don't eat it. Yeah. Did, wait. Wait. What if we threw that out? Uh, that, that. That, that, that. I just picked that up again. Because we've been on... Spawn back. Okay. Oh.
What? Oh. How the This guy got hacks. He could just bend the arrows to wherever he wants. I don't think that's a thing that you should be able to do. Shafted myself on this. Again, from the top. <laughs> Screwed that up. Look at that, because he ate it. Oh god, he's ha his stamina is so low. And you can hear him go with it. He's still eating rotten food, but I don't think he can go... Got him! Oh, that was hilarious. G'day, Zenty. Oh, man. I'm alright. I'm, I'm a whole lot better now. Spider! Alright, so, I'll only put this on very briefly because, um, it does something really bad. I, I'm pretty sure. I think your stamina goes down. Yep. Alright. We're gonna call someone about it. Um, yeah. I died like five, three times. Sigand, Granin said something about putting legs on a tank. Do you know oh. what he's talking about? If you ask me, it's gotta be a joke. Not only is making a tank walk on two legs a technical nightmare, <laughs> but there's no point in making a walking tank to begin with. Putting legs on a tank would raise its clearance, increasing its frontal projection area. It'd also be less stable. Suppose the legs help the tank travel on bad roads. I don't see the logic in that. Isn't that what treads are for? I mean, anybody who'd seriously consider making a thing like that has got to be a wacko. <laughs> Come to think of it, there was a guy in the States who wrote a paper on that subject. What was his name? Emerson? Heinrich? <laughs> Something like that. I Emmerich. don't really remember. Emmerich. Of course, no one took that seriously. Sigand. Grannon was saying that Sokolov's research project was a tank fitted with rockets. Uh-huh. Do you have any idea what he meant? Sorry, beats me. No. Hmm. I wonder if it's supposed to increase the tank's mobility, or maybe give the tank short-range missile launching capability. But you're sure it has something to do with phase two of the Shagohod, right? Yeah. Khrushchev traded Cuba just to get this thing finished, and Volgin blew up a Soviet research facility to get his hands on it. Whatever it is, it's gotta be big. Mm. Sigand, 
Do you know anything about that philosopher's legacy Grannon was talking about? Uh, Not a clue. Never even heard of something like that until now. Oh. Right. One thing's for sure, though. Vogan's got a huge amount of money stashed away somewhere. Philosopher's legacy, huh? Maybe it is real. That's what the game, this whole game series is based around. That legacy. That Order of Lenin that Granin was talking about is the most prestigious award in the Soviet Union. No. It's given to individuals, organizations, and cities for outstanding achievements in warfare, science, industry, the arts, and various other fields. You could say it's the highest honor the East has to give. Okay, but that's not what I'm asking. You say Granin was involved in the development of the SS-1C. The SS-1C is the Soviet's newest short-range tactical ballistic missile. Based on what Western intel has been able to gather, it's capable of being launched from a mobile platform. A mobile platform? Yeah. It's a transport vehicle that functions as an erector and a launcher. It can travel on roads, then erect and launch a missile from any location. <laughs> of course, in addition to conventional explosives, the missiles could also be fitted with chemical or even nuclear warheads. A nuclear missile that can be launched from any location? I'll bet it wasn't the missile itself that Granin helped develop. More likely, it was the mobile platform. From what I've heard, the SS-1C is set for actual deployment as early as next year. That's bound to send a chill down NATO's spine. Right, NATO. Hey, Snake, what's that you're wearing? There we go. It's spider camouflage. It used to belong to the Fear. Is that right? Well, it's not as good as the stuff the Fear was wearing, but it still seems to have a pretty decent amount of stealth capability. From the looks of it, the wearer uses stamina to power the stealth function. With this thing on, your camo index will stay at a high level no matter where you go. But if you run out of stamina, the stealth function will stop working. Keep that in mind. Ah, okay. So what's my... So if I do this... Yes. Yeah, so it's flashing 80 and it's staying that... Relatively that high. But we're not going to do it because... I like my stamina. I should go back. I should go back. But I'm not. Because I really do need... Medical. Huh? <laughs> Munchies! My munchies. My munchies. Well, mine. I forgot to get this last time. Who's that? Ah! Call HQ. Oh. Crab. Right, so they get knocked out faster because low on stamina. Makes even more sense. Ah. Oh. I guess that's good. I got another suppressor. Very good. Alright. Now with this new keycard, we can go through here. What the? No, nothing. And just as we... Just as we get in... Out of a boss Snake, fight. Are you there? We're getting into another one Where very soon. In the fortress in Groznygrad, Doctor Sokolov is here too. Is he all right? He's fine. Right now he's busy putting the finishing touches on the Shagohad. Good. That means they haven't killed him. Not yet, anyway. But you better hurry. They've already finished the phase two tests. Excuse Once me. the final preparations are complete, they'll have no more use for him. The colonel won't have any qualms about killing him if he thinks the CIA is closing in. 
Eva, you can't let Sokolov out of your sight. I know. Sneak, do you know where Grozny Grad is? Granin told me that I should be able to get there from the mountains to the north through an underground tunnel. Granin told you? Yeah. He even gave me the key to the warehouse. Why? Because he was drunk, I guess. You've got to be kidding me. Hell if I know. Snake, there's one problem with that route. What problem? The mountain entrance to the underground tunnel that leads to the fortress is sealed. You need a key to get in. A key? What about the key Granin gave me? That key won't work. But don't worry, I'll figure something out. I have an idea. There are some ruins at the top of the mountains. Meet me there. The top of the mountains. Got it. Wait. There's something else I've got to tell you. Now what? I heard that one of the cobras is waiting for you in the jungle at the foot of the mountains. He's a legendary sniper called The End. Yeah, I've seen him before. That ridiculous the old guy, right? Mm. Don't underestimate him. He's known as the father of modern sniping. Is he alone? No spotter? None. He's all by himself. Apparently, he doesn't need a spotter. He can't be serious. S said the entire every forest is on his side. The forest? Stay alert. Yeah. I'd hate to have it be the end for me. I don't need a spotter. Said every uh, stereotypical sniper ever. I got a gunshot wound in the ass. My butt cheeks attract bullets. Buns of pellets. Buns of steely pellets. Oh, book. So we're gonna fight the end legit way. The other way to do it is go in. Oh, hello. You go in, you meet him, you save, you move the clock a week forward, and then you play again, and he will just, you'll come into the game with Snake finding him already dead. Hey. Yeah. But we're not doing it that way. We get to try it out. So when we have the pain, <laughs> not the fly, hornet stripe. So because we have this on, we should be able to control the bees. And they don't hurt me, but they do follow me around. And they're, oh. Yeah, that's that's all they do. Did I just Ooh More give me more bees Give me all the bees Yes all the bees You think you can hurt me? I am the bee man You cannot hurt me, man! This seems to be a problem! <gasps> Nothing but a bed of bees can't help! Bees for life, baby! Yeah! <laughs> Bees. Welcome back, my pretties. <laughs> Is there more bees for me to get? No. No more bees. Up, 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 up
<laughs> More bees! I'm unstoppable! This is so much fun. I gain the power. I gain the power of hornets. At the cost of an annoying sound that's really, really loud now. Oh my god, I have so many bees! No, leave him alone, he's... Who said that? If I crouch, do I gain back HP? Yes. That was my first time actually doing the bees. If only the bees followed me in. So apparently we can see the end. But you'd have to be a good- Oh, no, no way you could see him. People keep saying you can see him for that. For that little seeing eye thing. No, you don't see him there. Let me linger in this world just a little longer. I have already slept enough for one lifetime. Enough for an eternity. You have my thanks. I have to thank you. Waking me. If you hadn't shown up, my sleep would have been bitter. Do you hear me, Snake? I am the end. I am here to send you to your ultimate fate. You'll make a fine quarry for my final hunt. Grant Alarbecht. There he is. He's right in the middle. I didn't see him, but he's like within those little... sniper you were talking about that's the end he's a legend known as the father of sniping i've got experience sniping in urban and marine environments what about the forest never i see well that forest is divided into three areas a river a plateau and a clearing he should be lying in wait for you in one of those places sounds like this may take a while it'll be a test of endurance be careful though from what i've heard the end has an almost supernatural knack for camouflaging himself. So, not really. First loses. This guy's over a hundred years old, though, so I should have the advantage in terms of stamina. I wouldn't be so sure if I were you. Why's that? I've heard that his body is photosynthetic, like a plant. What is he? Some kind of monster? On top of that, he can speak to the forest too. So, in other words, he knows it inside out. Uh huh. But he doesn't know you. I'm sure you can beat him. Don't worry. I intend to. 